Welcome to It's Rafiq. In today's video, we are going to solve the question number 6 of chapter 1, class 9, computer science. Here we have to convert a decimal number, which is 135 into binary. To do so, we have to divide the number by 2, and we will write the remainder in right hand side. And we will continue dividing number till we get 1. And after that, after dividing the number, we will write the answers from bottom to top like for this sum the answer will be 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 and while we write the answer always as we are converting the number the number into binary we will have to write the base as 2 to convert a binary number into decimal first we have to write index of all the digit from right hand side we will start from 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and after that we will multiply is each digit with multiply by 2 and power of uh, the index for example the first number will be 1 into 2 power 6 here 2 power 6 means we will multiply 2 6 times when we multiply 2 6 times we will get the answer is 64 and whenever we have multiply with 0 that answer will be directly 0 so here 64 plus 32 plus 4 plus 2 if we add all the numbers we will get the answer is 102 so the answer will be 102 and we will write index uh, base as 10 as we are converting that number into decimal for question c we have to convert a decimal binary number into uh, decimal number system means fractional binary number into decimal number system for that we will write the number first uh, then we will write the index the left hand side of the decimal will write as 0 1 2 and in the right hand side we will write or uh, means index as minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 after that we will multiply all the number by all the digit by 2 with power of the their uh, index like uh, the first number will be 2 power 2 then 2 power 1 2 power 0 then 2 power minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 so on and here whatever number are multiplied by 0 the answer will be 0 only and uh, you will see 2 power minus 1 when uh, we have a minus 1 power when we make it positive it become 1 by 4 and when we convert 1 by 4 into decimal we get the answer is uh, 0 0.25 so this way this uh, 0 0.5 and 0 0.25 came after that we'll add up all the numbers and we'll get the answer and here as we have converted the number into decimal so we'll write the answer as base 10 now question number d we have to convert a fractional decimal number into binary number system first we'll divide the whole number or the left hand side of the decimal part by 2 and we'll write the answer from bottom to top and after that whatever number in in fractional point or right hand side of the decimal that will multiply by 2 and will continue the continue the multiply until there will be no more decimal points so at first we are multiplying the number by 2 and we are getting 0 0.75 after that uh, as the whole number is still 0 so we will write as 0 and next time we will multiply 0. 75 into 2 will get the answer is 1.5 now you will see in the left hand side of the decimal we have 1 so we will write as 1 again whatever fractional part is there decimal part is there will continue multiply means 0 0.5 into 2 so again we will get the answer is 1 so we will write as 1 as there is no more decimal so we will not write it uh, will not continue the multiply and after that we will write the answer now question number E we have to convert a decimal number into octal for that we will divide the number by 8 and we will write, write the remainder in right hand side and we will continue the division until we get a number which cannot be divided by 8 or till we get 0. So here the answer is 411. For question number F we have to convert a fractional decimal number into octal for that first we will divide the right left hand side digits of the number like 250 by 8 and we will get the answer is 7, uh, 372 
after that uh, whatever in right hand side of the decimal like uh, 0 0.375 will multiply the number by 8 and will get the answer is 3.0 and will continue the multiplication until we get the decimal points as 0 so we got 0 at the first step only that's why the decimal portion will be 3 that's why the answer is 372.3 and the base will be 8 for question number z we have to convert an octal number to decimal for that we'll multiply, by, uh, multiply the number by 8 and we'll provide index for each digit from right hand side like 0, 1, 2 and we'll multiply it like the first digit 3 into 8 square that, that is 64 so if we multiply it we'll get 192 and 7 into 8 56 and 5 into 1 it's 5 now you'll see 8 power 0 we'll get the answer is 1 any number power 0 will be 1 only so if we add up all the number the answer is 253 and the base will be 10 next we have to convert a fractional octal number into decimal for that we'll write the index as 0 1 and the decimal 1 will be minus 1 and when we multiply the answer will get as uh, 128 plus 5 and that fractional part will multiply 6 into 8 power minus 1 and when we make it positive it will be 1 by 8 and when we convert it into decimal we will get answer is 0 0.75 and after adding all the number the answer will be 133.75 and base will be 10 decimal for that we will multiply the number by 16 and as binary and octal will give index to each digit 0 1 2 and will multiply that way and finally we will get the answer is 293 and base will be 10 as we have converted into decimal for question number k we have to convert index uh, decimal number into hexadecimal for that we will divide the number by 16 when we divide 436 by 16 we will get the answer is 27 and remainder will be 4 after that again we'll divide 27 by 16 we'll get uh, one answer and remainder will be 11 again if we convert 11 into hexadecimal number system it will be b like uh, we already know uh, 10 is a 11 b 12 13 like that go on uh, sorry 12 will be c and like that go on and finally we'll get the answer as 1 b 4 base 16 decimal number into hexadecimal we'll do the sum in two parts first we'll divide the number by 16 here we'll get the answer is d5 and after that the fractional part will multiply by, by multiply by 16 until we get the fractional part is 0 so at first we'll get as 0 0.5 so the decimal number will be 0 and after that again if we multiply 0 0.5 into 16 we'll get answer is 8.0 so the 8 will be the answer here that's why the final answer is d5.08 here we'll convert a fractional hexadecimal number into decimal number for that we'll multiply by the number multiply the number by 16 with power of 1 0 and minus 1 and minus 2 here if we multiply 5 into 16 we'll get as 80 then 5 into 1 will get as 5 and after that 0 into 16 power minus 1 it will be 0 only and 8 into 16 power minus 2 if we convert it into positive it will be 1 by 25 uh, 1 by 256 and when we solve this sum 8 into 1 by 256 we'll get the answer is 0 0.03125 so the final answer is 85.03125 now we have to convert a binary number into hexadecimal number for that we have to divide the number into group of four digit number from the right hand side if we when we group the number into four digit numbers it will come as 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 and the last group which is in left hand side it will be uh, it remains only 2 1 so to make it a four digit uh, number will add two extra zeros and uh, easy method to solve this sum is at top of each digit from the right hand side you can write one two four eight actually it is multiple of uh, two's power so two power zero is one two power one is two two power two is four two power three is 
8. So this is are the numbers. Now we'll calculate the number which have 1. So at the first group we will have only 1 and 2. So the answer is 3. And second group also it will be 3. And third group if we plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 we will get the answer is 7. So the answer will be 337 base 16. In this sum, we will have to convert a fractional binary number into hexadecimal number system. So here, what, uh, which is left hand side of the decimal that uh, will group from the right hand side. Like when we group it, it will be 1001 and 1001. And which is right hand side of the decimal that from the left hand side will group and the groups will be 1011 and 1001. And after that, uh, as the previous one, we'll add the numbers. In the first number, we'll have only 8 plus 1, it will be 9. Then again, 8 plus 1, it will be 9. And the third is, uh, group, it will be 8 plus 2 plus 1, it will be 11. And equivalent is B. And the last one, 9, the final answer is 99.B9. Base will be 16. In this sum, we have to convert a hexadecimal number into binary number system. So here we will have uh, we have the number as B59E. First, we'll uh, write the number little in little gaps like uh, B59E, and we'll read, write the decimal equivalent of its digit. Like B equivalent is 11 and E equivalent is 14. And after that, we'll convert the number. We can either remember the table which is provided in your book, or we can divide the number separately by two, and we'll write the answer as in group of four digit. So the first one will get as 1011, second one 101, 0101 and third one 1001 and fourth one 1110. And finally we will write all the digits together to get the, uh, for the answer. To convert a binary number into octal system, we have to group the number from right hand side in the group of three digits and after that as a hexadecimal we can write power of twos like 1, 2, 4. And we'll add up the number which have one digit. So if we find out here the addition, we'll get the answer is one, one, four, seven, base of eight. This is the last sum of the chapter. So the number is six zero one seven eight, and it is an octal number. We have to convert into binary. So for that, what we can do, we will divide each number by two, and we'll write the binary equivalent in group of three digit number. So if we convert 6 into binary, we will get the answer is 110. And if we convert the binary of 0, it will be 0 only. As we have to write the number in group of 3 digits, so we will write 3 zeros. And if we convert 1 into binary, it will be 1 only. And to make it group of 3 digits, we will make 2 extra 0 on the left hand side. And if we convert 7 into binary, we will get the answer is triple 1. So finally, we'll write all the one and zeros together and we'll get the final answer. Thank you for watching. See you in a new video. Till then, take care and bye.